All right, uh, so John, here you are. So for doctors who are observing, you know my style. I don't give up on any patient. And this is an extreme keratoconus case. I've gone beyond 70 diopters, gyatometry, unmeasurable at all levels. So we put in a single ring here, you can see. And right here, and it's placed here, sutulus. Today, he's nearly six months post-op. Also, he waited a little longer because of the COVID lockdown. And having done this, if you can notice, the position of this ring is exact because when we do his penitam today, you can see his cone was lopsided more to this side and had such high astigmatism, which we have now brought down to 1.2. And we have made his cornea measurable. How do I know? They're going to refract him right now. I've just finished with that. I will see if he can actually read and see. Imagine this is a K cornus patient, count fingers, could not be fitted with any contact or glasses. Here we are now understanding that his cornea has become measurable with the ring intact surgery and trying to see what we can do visually now to make him see. So I've just finished refracting him. Go ahead, John, can you read that? E. Smallest you can. Uh, Z, C, D. Lovely, come on. R, H, C, S, Z. Super, give me backwards to make sure you're not cheating. Z, S, C, H, R. Sorry for that torture, I love it. So you know, actually he's down in 2017, this is amazing. Come on, John, pushing you. O, Z, D, B, K. And remember, I'm also listening. His sound is very confident. That's very important for me. Come on, John. Don't have to. Go. R, H, S, mm. R, H, K, S, D. Amazing, guys. That's 2050, coming from Crown Fingers, which tells me the potential he has. Come on, John, pushing you. Don't have to. Uh, no. Nothing at all? Not really. Lovely. Let's go here back again. Give me that. R-H-K-S. So he's confirmed that I will still do what I call a perceptive test because this eye, he was born with extreme cone, extreme astigmatism, and most doctors, as usual, they keep them in contact lenses saying nothing much can be done and go to such a level where even I can't plan 2020 because it's gone that far. But don't give up on the desire to get there. So now, John, this is perceptive test. Can you cover your left eye with your hand? Can you see anything there? No. Can you look through this now? Take your hand off. This is perceptive. One yes. on ten. Scale. Ten. Lovely. That tells you the perception, meaning is it ethically correct for us to even think of surgery? Is it repeatable? So I'm really checking in this again. Now I'm taking to the line which you can barely see. Cover your left eye with your hand, please. Can you read that? Can you see anything there? The wall. Can you see somewhat like an oh, E there? E. Lovely. Now, you know it's an E. Come forward. Give me perceptive. How much more better? Oh, 100%. Beautiful. So what did we do here? This is a planned surgery, but I planned in stages. I put the ring in to make him more measurable. Like, can I even measure him? People were planning transplant. And now having done the ring and having waited, I'm looking for stability and his potential. He's down to 2050 with the refraction I have. Now, next question, what am I going to do? Given that his cornea is so poor because he waited this long, I have now in front of me his entire profile. And what I'm planning is, given his age, he's 54, is I could put in a toric ICL because my refraction has come up to around minus 9 with minus 4. Or I could plan to remove his slightly nucleus sclerotic lens and be done forever. Now, question you could have is, Doc, he's minus Nine, he's myopic. And that's not a case I teach you how to do intraocular surgery on because you can harm the retina, right? But <clears throat> if you look at his axial length, he's just 23, which tells you it's not myopic because of his eyeball being long and the retina at risk, he's more myopic because his cornea is very conical and has caused a deeper anterior chamber, right? So actually his eyeball is pretty safe, retina is safe. We've looked at his parameters, intraocular measurements, so I might plan to go lens exchange technique with the toric lens and try to get him the best vision I can, despite his cone. And that, John, is the direction I want to take. Okay. Right? Okay. Wonderful. Great.